Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just arrived in to Tokyo for another international airport. One of my favourite airports in the world. I'm going to put the camera away now because I can see a few security person on. They might question me, so I'll talk to you when we get to the uh, after the baggage crew. Hello, everyone. I've literally just landed in Tokyo. Today, we're going on a vlog around the largest city in the world's most extensive transport system in the world. And today, we're taking a ride on it for the afternoon. It is an absolutely sweltering 37 degrees here in Tokyo. First stop, monorail. Impressive journey times into a uh, central Tokyo of just 20 minutes from the airport. Thirteen thirty-four express service time. Much for that sort of train. Maybe come to the morning as a train. Oh, it's warm. It's very, very warm. Don't do this in the summer. I believe that's our train. So good to be up in Tokyo. This is the local service. We're not going to get on this one. We're going to get the next fast express service. There we are, as a, mon as a local service. But a monorail is like a train, but instead of rails, it has like a guard thing. I'm not too sure what it's called. I guess it's a mono single, single rail. So what are we going to do first of all? First of all, we're going to go to Hamamatsucho and then we're going to change uh, for a... What are we going to do? We're going to change for a Yamanote line service, which is going to take us uh, over to Shibuya, I think is what we're going to do. And then Shibuya, of course, we've got the famous Shibuya crossing. Should we do that? And it's got the iconic Tokyo departure melody. Let's see if we can catch that. That'll be so brilliant if we can. Here it comes. We're getting this all the way to Hamamatsu, the terminus and uh, final stop of the service. It's like the London equivalent to Heathrow Express, but considerably cheaper. And a lot more well used. This is a Hanada Express train bound. Okay, we've arrived at Amamatsu. Absolutely brilliant ride on the monorail there. That's it. Possibly one of the most city scenic routes that I've ever been on. And my first impressions of Tokyo are incredibly positive. It's not as hot as I envisioned actually, but it's still very, very hot. It doesn't feel 37 degrees hot, but it's very hot. How much do we have on our excellent integrated transport card that even has a picture of the monorail on the front? <laughs> And immediately we've got a Shinkansen coming through bullet train. This is one of the N700 series. Uh, 
should be uh, instantly feeling instantly feeling the heat. This looks like a station that's um, being redone. You can see extensive remodeling work, not remodeling works. Uh, what's taking place? Find ourselves in a very, very busy Shibuya. Wow! This here is probably what you think of um, if you were to come to Japan. Yeah, when one thinks of Japan, it's probably what you think of. And right here, this is the famous Shibuya crossing. Here we go. Right, we are crossing the Shibuya crossing. Advertising everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Okay, it's just too, too hot here. It's ridiculous. What a view, bro. You don't get that in many other places, do you? Anyway, let's get back on the train and let's head to Tokyo. It's, it's, it's about that time now, isn't it? Has this got stupid ticket gates? My favourite departure melodies in Tokyo. This is a really slow escalator, anyway. <laughs> we're getting the hands on the from here, and we're getting that as far as Otomachi, which is uh, the main transport interchange in Tokyo in terms of the metro. It's got the most uh, metro lines serving it, which you're able to change to. 1502 to Cookie, that'll do. Yes, it, 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 the definition of a train is called Cookie. It's our train now. Void system here in Tokyo, I don't think I've explained it to you um, yet because we've only just um, seen it. In Tokyo, you have one or more different uh, operators 
kind of running on the same line. For example, this is the Hans Zimmermann line, but you saw uh, a Tokyo operated train because different operators tend to run on the same line, so that it's easier to get across the city. Oh, it's a green train. This time it's operated by Tokyo Metro. Central Station. This is the massive 37 million population Tokyo. This is its this is its station, Tokyo Station. We've got this absolutely brilliant Marinochi line going. I really love the maquette on these trains. Uh, the box round for Okikuro. It's also got silicon carbides, so it sounds very quiet. It's got a flat wheel. Anyway, we've enjoyed the cool of the subway, but now it's time to go up onto the surface and see perhaps some of Japan's most iconic trains, the Shinkansen. JR Line Shinkansen, and then we want to buy a platform ticket so that we don't get charged extortionate fares. Talking of extortionate fares, the Tokyo Metro is incredibly cheap. For a single journey, it's a lot cheaper than the London Underground, and it has no peak fares as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, which uh, platforms we're on now, um, you see these 
very, very nice in 700 trains that you saw coming in a minute ago. Uh, here is a service car for the Goya. Um, also, uh, we have the Toho Kushin Kansen, uh, and the Hopper Kushin Kansen, and all, and all their branches. Yeah, it's a bit quiet now. It's uh, 6 4.48, and platforms are hardly busy at all. So, what a brilliant rush hour, I think you'd agree. This is probably one of the coolest clocks I've seen in my life. It's 16.56 now according to this clock. Watch what happens when it becomes 16.57. Particularly to the last digit. It doesn't just become a 7. And you can see it morphing in. Is that not really cool? I don't know, I just really like that. <laughs> okay, ladies and gents, it's five o'clock. This is rush hour in Tokyo in 2022. See what it was like before? I'll put some images in of a mad rush for trains. And look at it now. It has really emptied out. I've just realised I'm going the wrong way, but I don't want to turn back because I'll get lost again. And it's a little bit less uh, hot now, so it's somewhat pleasant to walk around. Oh, we've actually come the right way, surprisingly. I thought we'd come towards the Hombashi way. Oh, that's a special train. Going over the bridge, I'm not too sure what it is, but it's a special train. So it has now been 15 minutes since we walked into the Tomato Chief Station and oh we've just reached the ticket gate, right. <laughs> it's going to go off with a rant about but however um, they're taking off some massive detail which I probably are, I've probably got around the massive circle. 